Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to give you a tour, a tour, a tour, a tour, a tour of my new rig. Um, I go ahead and warn you, it's dirty and filthy and really needs to be cleaned up bad. I mean, it's she's pretty dirty. But anywho, I'm going to take you around and show it to you. Um, we're going to go inside show you what's in there probably going to end up changing a few things but anyway we're going to look at it anyhow and uh it's more likely going to be my new rig i don't know yet i may uh, fix it up and flip it you know fix it up and resell it probably not just so everybody knows i probably won't but i could i may flip it we'll just have to see but anyhow let me get you turned around we're going to check out the new rig First of all, we got old Rusty Russ sitting here licking his butt. I mean, that's all he does all day. I've got it parked pretty close to the old Chinook, so I'm not going to be able to get down the driver's side. But nevertheless, wow, am I zoomed in or something? Hang on, folks. Nope, not zoomed in. This seems really big on the screen. Uh, but this is a 1989... Uh, UMC Aeromate. It's a delivery truck. It's a uh, most of you folks know it as a step van. It is. I'm trying to think here. From front bumper to the rear, it's 18 feet long. Wait a minute. That's not right. 21 feet long. And the living quarters from the driver's seat back, I think. It's nine feet, I think. But anyhow, let's, let's walk around and get a look at it. First, let me show you. Yeah, she's dirty. She's no dirty pig, but we'll get all this cleaned up. First, wow, why does that look so zoomed in for? Anyway, this is the hood. I'm not going to open it right now. Um, yeah, why not? Give me just a second here and let me open it. You're going to be zoomed in really close. That's okay. I do it all the time. There we go. So the hood raises up. Like the whole front end raises up. But this, like I said, this is a 1989 Aeromate UMC. It is on a Chrysler's caravan running gear, you know, frame. You know, the minivans that Chrysler makes. Chrysler. Anyway, it's a little four-cylinder, 2.5 four-cylinder. But this thing's really small and light. It has plenty of power. Um, I took it for a test drive, and yeah, it's... I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not a race car, by no, by no means. But, goodness, here comes the hiccups right on cue. It's not a race car by no means, but it has plenty of power for this. I'm sorry, buddy. I was stepping on your rope. He was trying to walk away, and I was standing on his rope. It has tons of new parts. Has new alternator, brand new transmission. It was just done last week. Uh, you, you can't really see it, but anyway, I'm gonna tell you anyway. It's got all new belts. Just had a new head gasket put on. Uh, of course, oil change. You know that's not a big deal, but you know fresh oil change. Brand new battery. I stole this thing. I got this thing for a deal. I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it because I might want to resell it. But yeah, we'll just say I, I stole the sucker. Especially with the brand new transmission just coming out of the shop last week. That was $2,200. Well, it's front wheel drive. I don't know why I'm pointing way back there. It's front wheel drive. Transmission's right down there. But yeah, $2,200 is what the transmission repair costs. And I, yeah, I got lucky and found this. I just, well, i tell you how I found it. Here I go rambling, but I'm going to do it anyway. I think I told you folks before, just knock on doors. If you're looking for, you know, say you, just for example, say you're looking for a van and you see one parked in the yard, it looks like it hasn't been driven in a while. Like, you know, they don't really use it. Oh, I'm sorry. I got you staring at this blank wall. Uh, stop knock on the door. Say, hey man, you be interested in selling that? You never know. Most time they'll say no, but. I'm sorry. I'm trying to close this hood. There we go. Most times they'll say no, but a lot of times they say yes. Here's the passenger side. I can't get it on screen. It's 
got brand new tires on it all the way around. Brand spanking new. I think he said he put them on about two months ago. But still, I mean, just transmission tires alone were already about $3,000. There's Russ. He's grunting at me. He's wanting to... I just took you for a walk. We'll go here in a minute, buddy. Hang on. Anywho, it's just a plain Jane box truck, step van, no no windows, you know, except for the doors. Uh, got your standard barn doors in the back. It's eight and a half feet tall, six feet wide from side to side, eight and a half feet tall. This is the back door right here. Now, like I said, this has already been built out. I'm, I'm probably going to change some stuff. Uh, couldn't remember how to get that door open. A lot of stuff I'm going to leave, but I'm probably going to change some some things. And again, it needs to be cleaned up. It's super dirty. I mean, it's, yeah, she's pretty dirty. But this is what's the garage. That's the back wall to the living quarters. And what you're looking at right here is the bed platform. And then it leaves all this space right here. That's the garage. Uh, I know it don't look very big here. But I could put, oh goodness gracious, I could put two tons worth of stuff back here. Knowing me, I probably will. But more than likely, because it already has a vent right here, going to the outside, more than likely, in this little cubby right here, that's going to be the diesel heater. Probably right in this general area here is going to be all my batteries, you know, because I got six batteries. And that'll leave, you know, I can box that in, protect them. And I'll leave all this for random junk. But let me get this closed up and we'll go inside. Okay, this is the passenger door. It has them sliding doors, both sides are sliding doors, you know. Windows do crank and roll down. They're a little stiff. I think it's full of dust and dirt in the mechanism. I'm gonna clean that up, should be okay. The dash is super dirty. This thing has been out here in the desert, so it's, yeah, she's a little dusty. Seat's a little rough. It's comfortable. It's not broken down. Sets good, but the, the covering, you know, it's a little rough. Now this is some stuff I'm going to change. This is a little storage area slash shelf. Then right here is this little shelf. The owner, previous owner, this is their kitchen, so to speak. This is where they did all their cooking. That's probably all going to come out. I'd rather have this. I'm going to make this entranceway my porch. It has storage up here shelving i'm probably going to put a couple more like some kind of box storage box here and probably some kind of little storage box above the driver's seat and make this my front porch so to speak so when i come in shoes come off dirty dirty clothes you know muddy clothes whatever it might be anything dirty comes off here that way we don't have to take it inside has a uh, sliding has a sliding door to go into the the living space here you know okay i'm trying to find my light i know i'm daydreaming here give me let me pause it just a second my light's in my pocket and i can't get it out give me just a second i don't know how much good this light's going to do but um that's where we came in at that's the entranceway Ooh, she's warm in here <laughs> oh i forgot to mention it's aluminum it's an all aluminum body well it even came with a garmin gps but anyway it's all aluminum body but it's been coated you know that seal coat or cool seal whatever they put on roofs the whole van's been coated with that roof sides everything but anyway you come back in or not back in you come in through the entranceway right here and to your left uh man this thing's dirty i didn't realize it was this dirty okay but anyway this is where he had a house type refrigerator apartment size refrigerator I'm not gonna do that I got my little Dometic 12 volt more than likely I'm gonna put it right here that's the bed more than likely I'm gonna set it right there but back to the front you know what actually I'm sitting there thinking I'll probably put it right here but I'm, I'm getting sidetracked I'm gonna put a shelf across here and this is gonna be my kitchen so to speak my cooking area I'm gonna have a stove you know be refrigerator and floor Somewhere right here is going to be a shelf and I'm thinking Probably going to put a sink here, but with a cover to cover it up to make it a solid counter So I can also put my stove here But right above it 
Ah, oh, he didn't get all the junk out. Holy cow, I got all kinds of stuff. Anyway, this is the pantry, as you can see. Uh, probably, I'm going to continue to use it like that. But that'll be right above, you know, my cooking area. Whew. I'm trying to hurry through this, folks. It is warm in here. But here's a standard size closet. You know, it's got the, like a house closet door. Plenty of shelves. I ain't. I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm going to do with that. It's either going to be clothes storage or just random kitchen stuff. More than likely kitchen stuff. Pans, paper towels, canned food or whatever. More than likely. Now to the opposite side of where we was just at. Again, you come in through the entranceway. This will be the right, the passenger side of the vehicle. Tons of storage. Got a little cubby hole there cubby holes there come on down to the next one cubby hole cubby hole you know so on and so forth this is kind of and he left me all his garbage <laughs> but anyway this is really narrow that's probably it looks big but that's probably four inches tall more than likely i'm gonna use that for uh this small Maybe like towels, hand towels. Probably could shove some paper towels in there. Stuff like that. Down below that, up here is all of them cabinets. Well, down below it, got two more. You know, here and here. Then we got a shelf right here. And of course we got the floor. Next beside that is another tall closet, which this was his power closet. This is where he had his charge controller. All the solar stuff came in here. More than likely, since it's already kind of set up for that, I'm probably going to go ahead and do the same thing. Use it for that. Then it came with a fantastic fan, which is filthy. Goodness gracious, that thing is disgusting. <laughs> but anyway, it came with that. Moving on back to the living, you know, sleeping area. This is all that storage on the passenger side. This is the, you know, I called the kitchen. All right, moving on back. Here's the bed platform. Storage cabinets are underneath it. I'm not going to open every single one of them. With a small, I guess you call it a table, I don't know. And a storage thing there. Cubby hole down at the bottom. And then that's going back to the garage. I'll probably close that off. Maybe somewhere here put a vent hole from a diesel heater and it has rubber flooring uh, you know pretty filthy <laughs> now that I'm in here in the daylight it's pretty filthy but this thing's been sitting out in the desert for about a year um, just I mean I don't want to say it hasn't been used but it just pretty much parked pretty much transmission was bad in it and he just never drove it it sat there and you know how it is in the desert dust will come in on everything more control for the fan. I gotta wire that fan up. Um, and we'll worry about that later. I'm getting sidetracked. But again, we're right here at the bed, the living space. We got a small little shelf of some cubby holes. I can probably That'd probably be my catch-all for junk, you know, like my cell phone at night, my keys, wallet, whatnot. With another little counter space, another cubby hole. And then we got the blank wall. And everything's painted black. I'm definitely going to change that. It looks so dark in here. I mean, it's, I, it's, it's really dark. I'm probably going to paint everything white just to brighten it up. And I'll leave some black, like a... What I'm thinking is like these doors, I'm probably going to mark out, you know, a square. Of course, it's going to look better than this, obviously. But I'm going to mark out a square, nice and symmetrical and straight. Paint all this white, you know, all this area, and then leave this black. Kind of like a little accent. I'll do that to all this. and we'll, we'll just figure it out as we go. Now this, like I said, this is the bed. Pretty nice bed, too. It's about... I haven't measured, I'm just guessing. 
it's probably three and a half feet wide give or take and full width of the van so it should be six feet long maybe a little bit less because you know it's fully insulated in the walls and everything but anywho on the back of the bed we got more shelving cubby hole cubby hole cubby hole cubby hole and this was his bookcase he had this full of books actually i see a bunch of movies and stuff right there what did he leave huh he may want that stuff i'll give him a call that looks like something he forgot quantum jumping bert goldman i don't know we'll give him a call see if he wants that but anyhow here's some handles what's this for is it open no I don't know. Has some handles there for some reason. But anywho, this is it, my friends. And I'm standing straight up. I'm 5'10". Of course, you can't see me. I'm 5'10". And I've got probably... I'm standing straight up, so... Ooh. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Anyway, I probably got two inches between my head and this. What's that? Hmm. Oh, it looked like he had a light or something there. See it? I just noticed that. I've never seen it before. But yeah, I probably got two inches above my head. And this is the factory dome light. Uh, I think he said that was unhooked or the bulbs blowed or something. But anywho, that's the tur, tur of my new rig. I really like it. Now we got to look ahead to the future. When I got it all cleaned up and all this filth and dirt and everything's out of here. There's supposed to be some trim here. I got to put back up right here. You said it was laying in here. Oh, wait a minute. That's it right there. There it is. But anywho, I really like it. Oh, it's so much cooler out here. It's hot back there, boys. It must be insulated good because it is whew, quite toasty and warm out there. But you know, you got to visualize all this being clean, not dust and dirt everywhere. Came, even came with a navigation. Ain't that cool? Let's turn that off from the battery now. Um, huge windshields. The windshield goes from here all the way past this stuff. That's the reflectix all the way up there. It's a huge windshield. You definitely can see out of it. Of course, this is the driver's door. Oh, man. Oh, it feels so good. I opened it up and got blasted by wind. Woo. Yes, that feels so good. There's the old Chinook. And there's old Rusty Bones laying out there. Rusty, he's been having some health issues here lately. We're working on it. He's happy in a good mood now. But, yeah. My buddy's having some health issues. I'm a little worried about him. I'm not going to get into it real far because I've took him to the vet and we're, we're trying some things and it seems to be working as of right now. Um, but yeah, my buddy's pretty sick. He's he's not doing very good. He has his days. Like yesterday, he, he didn't want to get off his bed. I, I pretty much had to make him go outside and pee. Um, today he seems to be feeling good energetic. I come home. He was jumping up on me happy to see me and Sitting outside here Yeah, my, my old buddy's not doing good kind of makes me sad got me in a sad mood, but we'll get him fixed up We'll get the old pup back in shape I found a good vet. Hang on. I got I'm trying to put my glasses on I know you know this ain't Hollywood production. We just roll with it but, um, yeah, I've been taking him to a good vet, and the vet seems like he's really compassionate about his job and willing to try different things. He's willing to think outside the box, so we're trying some different stuff, trying to get my old buddy back to back in good health. Anywho, got to take care of my dog. <clears throat> I'm looking... This thing came with the air conditioner factory. This is a 1989, so what's that? 30, 
30 something years old 30 something anyway it's yeah it's over 30 years old so it's not the fanciest thing in on on the streets but it fits me just perfect i'm i'm tickled to death to have it but it came out factory with air conditioner but somebody took the compressor off and maybe i'm sorry i know i'm looking at the i'm down here reading these gauges it's not really actually saying anything about air conditioner on that but it was out there on the motor. But anywho, um, you know, it sounds like I'm nitpicking and complaining. I'm not at all. I'm tickled to death to have this thing. We're going to get this old raggedy steering wheel cover off here. Get a nice fresh one on. Get a lot of this dust cleaned up. I'm kind of watching my dog. He He's probably ready to go in. He, he don't do good in this heat. And plus, he feels bad. But he's never, he's he's been inside for weeks now. And, I'm trying to get him some outside time. Fresh air is good for him. But you can see the aluminum body out here. Nothing's been covered up or painted or nothing. You know, it's all, the whole truck is made out of this aluminum, which is good. That means no rust. And it has an alarm system. All the doors have triggers on them. Luckily, I remembered to turn it off for opening these doors. Even the back door has it, so. So if um, mustache tickling my lip, time to trim it up. Uh, yeah, so if somebody tries to break in or wiggles the door or whatever, I even tested it. You just kind of jiggle that door handle, it goes off. Horn starts blowing and got this old siren sound like a sick cat man. But anyhow, it works. Uh, you know, that's added security. It's not going to keep the psychos from coming in here and and robbing you, but it'll at least wake you up so you can watch them rob you. You know, I guess it's better than nothing. But anywho, I'm gonna get off here. It's hot inside here. I'm gonna take one more look back here. Oh, she's dark back here. But um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I like it. Most people would look at this. Oh. Most people would look at this and think um, it's junk. I don't. Yeah, I know I'm being washed out by the sun, but it's a. Uh, here, I'll get this guy out of the way. You, you know, you got you got to look at the potential. Look past all this dirt and dust and grime and everything, and just look at the potential that it has. It's already built out. Obviously, I'm gonna change a few things, but other than that, other than changing a few things. Uh, Hard part's done. It's already fully insulated. He says three inches of insulation in the walls and the ceiling. Um, I probably, I, you know, I believe him because in the back in the garage back here, there's a little spot that they missed or a piece of trim or something come off, whatever, and you can see in the wall. And it has the half inch foam board has two layers of that. So at least it has an inch anyway it, it at least has that much but then you figure the this uh board here even though that's not what people think is insulation that's all that's another layer against the cold or heat or whatever it's not wood is not a great insulator but it is another layer of insulation so you know what i'm getting at it probably does have three inches um other than that i believe that's about it folks this was a tour, tour of my 1989 UMC, dirty, 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 UMC Aeromate Step Bam. And that's my picture of the ocean he left. Maybe here soon, in the next few months, instead of looking at that, we'll be staring out here at the ocean. Maybe, I don't know. Man, okay, I'm gonna get off here folks because uh, it is hot inside this thing. I Just wanted to, wanted to say hello to everybody. I'm a friend subscribers family people. I don't know uh, The guy that was walking down the road um, I just want to say hello to everybody to let everybody know I'm doing okay Life's treating me good so far a few bumps in the road here and there, but hey, you know We can just take it one day at a time I got me a new project to work on. Really tickled to death to have it. Um, what is that? It must be the choke. I'm still seeing things. 
I just bought this a couple of days ago, so I'm still finding things I haven't seen yet. But anywho, I'm gonna get off here. Just want to give you a little tour, 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 tour of my stuff van. And uh, I need to get Russ inside. He's hot. I, I can see him now. He's not enjoying it as much now. Um, get him inside. Let him get a drink of water and lay in the air conditioner. But anyway, until me and Russ sees you next time, God bless you.